Hello, I'm Carol Parsons, and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, but I also love to make mini albums. And this is not really an album, it's a book. <laughs> I gotta tell you, this paper is Stamperia's Vintage Library. There are owls in the paper, books galore. They even made a village out of books. There's a wizard and a castle and a dragon. Well, of course, that tells a story to me. And as I was looking through the paper, I began to think about the stories my big brother told me when I was a little girl. He didn't just tell the three little pigs. No, he souped them up and twisted them around, and they were funny. Um, the three little pigs, he had... The big bad wolf teaching them how to do the twist while wearing blue suede shoes, of course. And all of this came rushing back when I saw this paper and I thought, I've got to write a story to go with this paper for my great niece, who is his uh, granddaughter. So, the Dragon's Library was born. And here's the outside of the book. It's a magnetic closure. And look at that dragon. Is he not the coolest thing? And of course, he has uh, jewels on his scales, which I wove into the story. There's the castle. Look at all the books. So, in the story, his name is Azarte. The reason he's wearing jewels is because he got a fight in a fight with a horrid, miserably mean dragon. And he was left with scars. So the jewels cover up his scars. Anyway, Azarte lives in this castle. And here's the first page of his story. All the books. He loves books, by the way. He reads like crazy. And then you open it up. And I bought some additional pictures online from uh, Itsy. This lady has uh, digital images and I needed a few more. So this is Azarte's baby picture. His little sister, his father, and his mother. Then the pullout page has more story on it telling about the battle with the wicked dragon and here is the wicked dragon by the way and here is Xandar. Xandor is the wizard in this story and he of course is friends with Azarte. Here's Xandar's uh, laboratory. More story. I numbered the pages so that when Isabella, that's my great niece, is reading, she can keep up with all these flips and turns. And on this page, look at that bookcase. Oh, floor to ceiling books. I have one of these in our great room. But you know what would be even cooler? You know those bookcases with the rolling ladders? That's what I want. A room so full of books, you have to have a ladder. Anyway, here is a little envelope. And in the papers, they had all of these kind of business cards. So I incorporated them into the story. And these are some business cards that Azarte uses to order books from. So, you know, little kids just love to have things to open. And I just thought an interactive book would be perfect. And then behind the door is a closet for owls to read. Of course, right? What self-respecting owl would not want to read in a beautiful closet? Then... This is the page that tells about the village. And uh, Xandor, the wizard, had this 
village built out of traditional um, sort resources, but he shaped them into books. Okay, so the people in the village have book buildings. And of course, I wove that into the story as well. There's some story up here and some more of it down here. Um, let's see. I tried to be a little clever, like, okay, lyrics. Lyrics is the store that carries handcrafted furniture, and it's owned by Lyrical Ottoman. Rhymes happens to be the florist, and the owner is Ivy Zymes, right? You get it? You get it? Okay, and then, let's see. Oh, there's one more I have to tell you. Um, the shop called Poems is the grocery, and it's run by Ham Stanza. <laughs> uh, this, uh, you know, I'm not sure if this was... Stamperia or not. I ordered so many little packages of things. I think it was. But all of my um, non-stamping up supplies I get from ASC Crafts. And here's some more story. Look at the bookshop. All of this came in the papers. Oh, it's just amazing. Okay, and then over here, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? A stairway that ends in a beautiful book. There's some more of that beautiful village. And here is Xandor in all his glory with all of his inks and potions and... Uh, there's Xandor's, I mean, um, Azarte's dragon egg. Xandor glued it back together and kept it as a decoration. And there's the castle, of course. And over here, there were so many owls in this paper, I thought you had to introduce the owls. So I made an owl page. And... I think you can see that. This is the writing that tells who this is. This is Owlbert Einstein, and he's a saw wheat owl. And uh, his name, he, uh, he is friends with another owl who loves to read, and he plays chess. Then this waterfall introduces all the other owls. Let me get this where you can see. Okay, these four owls are tawny owls, and one of them is Hootlet, another one is Houdini, and they run the business for transportation in the Enchanted Forest. The fairies, they give fair rides to the fairies, and they also deliver um, mail. And then turn it up again and we have the two more owls a snowy owl and an Eurasian owl eagle we've got Argus and Zephyr and then here's another one this is Astra Oops, can you see that? Okay, there's Astra. She's a, long, a European long-eared owl. And she leads nature walks through the woods when she's not reading. Oh, and my family's from Indianapolis, so this is appropriate for us. This owl's name is Zandretti. Get it? Andretti? You know, Mario Andretti, race car driver? Okay. Well, my husband didn't think that my niece, great niece would get it, but, I, oh, trust me. Her mom and everybody else in the family will explain it to her. In the books, I happen to find one that was published in one of the cities, Indianapolis. So anyway, Zandretti is a barred owl, and he's the fastest flyer. 
So he delivers the express mail. And here's another owl. This is a barn owl. His name is Zephyr. Here's another owl. This is Orion. He's a great horned owl. And this is Templeton. He's a horned owl. He is Xandor the, um, not magician, uh, wizard. He's his assistant. And then I've got a poem about books and some more of the illustrations with books. And here's another pullout. And I have some poems about dragons, books. Here's one about magic keys because there are keys all in this paper. Um, I wrote a list of my favorite twisted up fairy tales for my niece, which my great niece, which is also going to be in the box when I give her this book. I'll have um, those books in there as well in honor of her grandpa. And here's another library shelf with Zandretti, another key, and another closet for owls to read in. Every real story is a never-ending story. And this page happened to have musical instruments in it, so I wove that in the story as well. And Azarte, the dragon, is learning to play the violin, and his little human friend, who happens to be named Isabella, is learning to play the piano. So you flip these up, and... There's a Zarte with his violins, more of the story. And here's Xandor the wizard. And then, uh oh, we gotta fix that. Gotta bend there. All right, here's some more poems. I'm gonna have to put something on that one. I thought I was done. Okay, and then another library, and these two uh, pockets are holding bookmarks that were in the paper. Aren't those beautiful? So Isabella will have bookmarks for oh, plenty of reading. There's big ones, there's small ones with some of the characters on them. They're even printed on the back. And one of my favorite poems I put here. Books are keys to wisdom's treasure. Books are gates to lands of pleasure. Books are paths that upward lead. Books are friend. Friends, come let us read. So, tap this key. I did have the key here, so... Now it's in, in this because of um, issues with it falling. Anyway, uh, tap the key on the box and it will magically open the lock. So you pull the key out. This was in some of the cut aparts. You tap it to the box. It happens to be magnetic. And then you open it. And inside there are going to be some little presents. Right now there's a sticker. Um... I'll put some more things that will fit in here. One thing I'll do is put a flash drive in because the flash drive will have some music. Um, some of my favorite uh, violinists like Lindsey Sterling will be playing, but I'll just pretend that that's a Zarte the Dragon playing his violin. So that's it. My labor of love. But now... They came out with, you know, oh, if you're familiar with Stamperia's papers, they're gorgeous. And they came out with another one. Actually, it came out before this one. And it is called The Magic Forest. It has elf, an elf in it. So, of course, that tells a story to me as well. And I, I kind of um, melded it into this book. So it's kind of 
part two, except it won't have all of these characters. It will have the owls and then the fairies and an elf. And I had fun looking for more images on Itsy that I could use for those characters, too. So, I hope you have a good day. Maybe this will inspire you to do something a little outside the box with a mini album. Bye!